When you hear the name Manny Ramirez, your mind most likely goes to one of two places. The absolute dominant power hitter in the middle of the Boston Red Sox lineup, or you simply thought of the saying Manny being Manny. In 2009, Manny Ramirez failed a test showing that he was positive for human chorionic gondotrophin, or HGC, which is a women's fertility drug. However, it is known to be used by humans who are coming off a steroid cycle. Look, I'm not here to pass judgment on whether or not Manny used steroids, or it was just another case of Manny being Manny, experimenting with a women's pregnancy drug. Whichever you want to believe, he was suspended for 50 games. I could get into where steroids are more of an advantage than knowing the pitch about to be thrown, definitely not, but I won't get into that rant at the moment. My personal opinion, however, about the steroid era is quite simplistic. The MLB Hall of Fame is a baseball museum and should showcase everything about the game. Doesn't matter if the topic is good, bad, or downright weird. If it happened in our game and was noteworthy enough to still be discussed decades and in some cases centuries later, well, it belongs in the museum that represents the history of the sport. Long before Ramirez's 2009 suspension, back in 1993, a young ball player made his debut in professional baseball. There's nothing noteworthy about his first crack at the show since he appeared in only 22 games. It wasn't until the following season, however, where Ramirez's reign of pure offensive savagery began. From 1994 to 2000, he was Cleveland's slugger, part of one of the most famous offensive teams in Major League history. In 945 games with Cleveland, Ramirez hit 315 with an on-base percentage of 409, slugging percentage of 596, an OPS of 1.005, an OPS plus of 152, which was also 52% better than the average player. Over the span, he had 234 home runs, 799 RBI, 660 runs, and 1,077 hits. However, Ramirez's average season consisted of 33 home runs, 114 RBI, 94 runs, 154 hits. He truly was a beast on the offensive level. Surprisingly, if you compare his strikeouts to the big league sluggers of today, 110 strikeouts per season mixed with the other numbers, any team would take that. Along with the regular season, Manny's postseason numbers in Cleveland are nothing to ignore when you compare them to the next chapter of his career. Following this run, the Red Sox would bring him in on an 8-year deal worth $160 million. Once Ramirez joined the Red Sox, that's where the majority of baseball fans got to know him best and would end up creating unforgettable memories through some unforgettable moments. Like the time Manny caught off Damon's throw from center field while he was in left field, performing on a legendary level in the postseason. Manny Ramirez will always be known as a clutch performer, winning two World Series rings and leading all players in postseason history with 29 home runs. He won the World Series MVP in 2004 and played a major role in helping the Red Sox end their historic 86 year championship drought. In eight years with the Red Sox, Manny's numbers are slightly better although he had around 600 more at-bats. He hit 38 home runs and 64 more RBI. In Cleveland, his war was 30.6, while in Boston, it was 29.5. His average, on-base percentage, slugging percentage, OPS and OPS Plus are almost identical. In 1,083 games with the Red Sox, Manny hit 312 with an on-base percentage of 411, slugging percentage of 588, OPS of 999, and an OPS plus of 155. It's truly incredible how he was able to be so consistent with both teams. He put together 16 years with staggering numbers. During the 2008 season, Manny was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers. There, he still produced. In 900 at-bats with LA, he had an OPS over 1,000. His defense was far from the best with negative 90 runs saved, but he more than made up for it with his bat. His career war is just under 67, his WOBA is 418, and his WRC Plus is 153. Ramirez is one of the best right-handed hitters to ever play the game, and it's time to put him in the Hall of Fame. For Grunt Talks MLB, I'm Sam Tavares.